The SAR signatures of oil spills may have a number of aspects on SAR images, depending upon their age, depending upon the sea state conditions, depending upon the observation configuration. They may be affected by the radar frequency, by the polarization, by the incidence angle, but basically the wind speed is the most limiting factor. So how do wind conditions influence the way SAR image oil spills? Particularly in the case of Sieben, which is the typical range of the SAR we use for oil spill detection. Under low wind conditions, let's say below 2-3 meters per second, the contrast between oil polluted areas and clean water may be very weak, making the oil detection very difficult. And such low wind conditions are also favorable to the generation of natural films that have SAR signature very similar to oil and that may lead to misinterpretation. Moderate winds ranging between 3 to 10 to 12 meters per second are the typical range of wind speeds that allow good detection in general of oil detection. But at high winds, above 12-15 meters per second, then the oil detection is limited by turbulence and waves that disperses oil in the water column. So, how does work an oil spill detection service? In fact, the trickiest part of an oil spill detection service consists in distinguishing real oil spills with lookalikes. There are a number of natural phenomena in the open sea that have SAR signature that could be interpreted as oil and erroneously reported as such. We call them false alarms. False alarms may arise from a number of situations, for instance, wave current interactions between two water masses that generate convergence area that result in a decrease of the sea surface roughness and that could be interpreted as oil spill. False alarm may also arise for instance from cold water insertion into a warmer system that also lead to a darker area on a SAR image and that could be mistaken as oil spill. There are often low wind conditions that are encountered in the lee of islands, in the lee of mountains, and that may also be confused with oil spill SAR signature. So, there are a number of situations, we could also mention upwelling areas, natural themes, all these situations that are very confusing. To solve all these ambiguous situations, the experience of the analyst who supervises the oil spill detection service is essential. I would even say this is probably one of the most important parts of an oil spill detection service. The common timeliness requirement now established by EMSA Clean Sea Net Service is 30 minutes lapse between the acquisition of the SAR image and the delivery of the oil spill report. This delay may even be reduced to 20 minutes whenever an oil spill is ongoing during the acquisition time of the SAR image. Reducing this delay increases the chances to catch the polluting vessel red-handed. But such short delay can only be achieved if the SAR image is downlinked to the nearest ground station right after the acquisition. The service chain roughly consists of three main processing steps. The first one, the SAR telemetry is downlinked to the ground station, then processed from level 0 to level 1 to get SAR image, then up to level 2 products, value-added products like map of detected ships, map of wind measured from the SAR image, and map of swells. This takes approximately 5 to 10 minutes. Then, the SAR image is analyzed by a well-trained operator. All detected ships 
or potential oil spills are checked, qualified, confirmed by the, anal by the analyst. If there is an oil pollution, the analyst will even try to identify the potential source of pollution using ancillary information like AIS, the Automatic Identification System, or an oil spill drift model. This takes approximately 10 to 15 to 20 minutes. And finally, all this information in comp is compiled in an oil spill detection report containing information on oil, ships, winds, waves, even quality parameters. And this oil spill detection report is sent to the final end users within the remaining five minutes. The CleanCNet service has been in operation since 2007 with more than 2,500 SAR images analyzed on a yearly basis. It has clearly demonstrated its deterrent effect on polluting vessels. Over this period, the number of oil spills detected per square kilometer has been divided by three over the European waters. But there are many other applications now for maritime surveillance that are provided within the frame of the Copernicus Maritime Security. For instance, the detection of illegal fishing activities that aim at detecting illegal vessels within restricted areas, just like the exclusive economic zones. SAR images are also used to survey maritime frontiers to support the detection of small ships full of refugees in the Mediterranean Sea, for instance. SAR images are also used to better understand and to monitor environmental crimes, such as illegal logging and its associated traffic through maritime ways.